In this video, we will cover how to use a nomograph to calculate the postmortem interval of an individual. Now, the time since death is always an estimation because it's based on many variables that cannot be controlled exactly. And so for this reason, a range of times is normally given. And this estimate of how long a person has been dead is called the postmortem interval, abbreviated PMI. And a nomograph is a diagram that allows a complicated mathematical relationship to be solved simply with a ruler. And the time of death the nomograph shows can be used to estimate the time of death based on the uh, deep rectal temperature of the body, the surrounding air temperatures, the body weight, and various other correlation factors such as the presence of clothing or whether the body was submerged in uh, water. Here we have a typical nomograph and you'll notice that on the left side we have the rectal temperature and the rectal temperature scale and on the right side we have the ambient or air temperature and the temperature scale. Both temperatures are in degrees Celsius. You'll notice that we have a dark line that is drawn across the nomograph and this dark line will be present. And so what we will be doing is using this diagram with this dark line drawn to calculate the postmortem interval of an individual. In addition to the nomograph, we must also have a correlation table. And this correlation table is a correlation for body weight and estimations of time of death. Now you'll notice that it shows correlation factors that are used to account for non-standard conditions such as uh, clothing or air movement or wet clothing in water and the correlation factor is multiplied by the body mass to give a better estimation of how long the person has been dead. Now here's the scenario that we have to solve for. A body was found and it was determined that the body was that of a 100 kilogram male. The rectal temperature was 25 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature was 10 degrees Celsius. The body was found naked and the air was still. So the first thing we need to do is we come over here and look that the body was naked, the water was still, the air was still and so we have a correlation factor of 1 and so that's where we got so the correlation factor is 1. Now to get the body mass we will take the mass of the male times our correlation factor and so we have 100 kilograms times 1 or a body mass of 100 kilograms. So we have calculated our body mass we examined the body, we looked at the situation, we determined the correlation factor. In this problem, the correlation factor was 1 because the air was still and the body was naked. We determined that from the chart on the previous slide. We take the correlation factor, we multiply that times the body mass, which was in this situation 100 kilograms. We got a body mass of 100 kilograms. Next, we notice that the rectal temperature was 25 degrees Celsius, and we notice that the ambient temperature was 10 degrees Celsius. So the first thing we do is we use a ruler, and we draw a straight line from our rectal temperature down to our ambient temperature. Now, what we'll notice is that this line that we've drawn we'll cross our dark line that's always present on our nomograph. So we note where the uh, line we've drawn for our rectal temperature to our ambient temperature crosses our dark line. We will come back to our circle and this circle is um, always on our uh, nomograph and from that center circle we're going to draw a line from it and we're going to have it intersect where our drawn line intersects the dark line that's always present. And so that's what this blue line is doing. Now, the problem stated that the body mass was 100 kilograms. So I found 100 kilograms 
on my chart and you'll notice that I highlighted that entire arc dealing with 100 kilograms in yellow and that just makes it easier for uh, that particular line to stand out and you'll notice that this blue line is right between 18 and 20 so that means that this individual would have been dead approximately 19 hours. Now let's follow this up and you'll notice that we have that correlation factor running across the top and our line intersects from this point here to here which is a 2.8 correction factor and that means that our individual had been dead 19 hours plus or minus 2.8 hours. Here we have an example problem of PMI for you to calculate using the same procedure that we have gone over in the early part of the video. The solution will be on the next slide. So as we look at this um, situation, a body was found of a 120 kilogram male. He is naked and the water is flowing. We look up on our correlation factor and we see that the body's naked, the water's flowing, we have a correction factor of 0.35. Now we have 120 kilograms, we take that, multiply our correction factor, and so we get a body mass of 42. We notice that the rectal temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the ambient temperature is uh, 5 degrees Celsius. So I have drawn my line from 30 degrees rectal temperature down to 5 degrees ambient temperature. We notice that my drawn line intersects the standard line right here. So I go back to my circle and draw a line through where my line intersected the existing line. I find the 42 line and I follow that over and when I reach that I will notice that it is between the 4 and the 6 so it appears our individual died 5 hours earlier my correlation factor is still within the 2.8 uh, correction factor range so my uh, individual would have died 5 hours ago plus or minus 2.8